Wow. Exactly. Down this way, right. Since you are the one of the foremost crusaders in the modern world of letters, we wish to adopt you into the humble ranks of the Holy Cross Crusaders. I have to thank you for this very great honor, and I do so with all my heart. I can only say that I am not much of a crusader, but at least I am not a Mohammedan. <laughs> <laughs> and many people will testify to the fact. All our world will end in despair unless there is some way of making the mind itself uh, the ordinary thoughts we have at ordinary times more happy than they seem to be just now to judge by most modern novels and poems. You have got to be happy in those quiet moments when you remember that you are alive. Lord Crew, ladies and gentlemen, you will be very naturally puzzled by my occupying any space, let alone so much space, in this uh, somewhat crowded but very distinguished assembly and you will naturally ask why any words of mine need be added uh, to the uh, distinguished and beautiful words of that great veteran genius of literature uh, whom we have the honor of having with us today. Uh, more especially as I have no kind of claim to deal with the things with which he has dealt. I uh, do not know the dominions as he knows them. I have traveled uh, here and there in the miserable character of one giving lectures, <laughs> but not otherwise. Mm, and uh, uh, I have no special uh, reason uh, for claiming uh, to express a hospitality towards Canadians which would be expressed by every person in the street outside as enthusiastically as by me. Uh, well, let me say then quite briefly that my reason for accepting this invitation and for being here today is quite simply a desire to return hospitality. I remember that I was received by this great Canadian literary society when I first appeared in the great American city where I first lectured uh, with a hospitality for which I shall never be able to give sufficient thanks. And I think we shall all agree that whatever controversies or arguments rage about uh, the character of what used to be called colonial life, at least the ancient human traditional virtue of hospitality uh, is there uh, flamboyant and magnificent in a degree almost unknown in our more fatigued society. All I know was that the Canadian Literary Society rushed out, as it were, full of hospitality, wanting to welcome anybody uh, from England, uh, any stray traveler. In the confusion of the moment, I was mistaken for a literary man <laughs> and, dragged, uh, and, and, and dragged in to partake uh, of that uh, glorious camaraderie. Uh, the, I didn't know what to do. I thought of trying to explain that I was a lecturer. But I wouldn't do, because some of them had been to my lecture. <laughs> uh, then, I, <laughs> then I thought, uh, could I say I was a journalist? But I was quite sure that would not go down. 
Uh, God forbid that I should commit so ghastly an error uh, as for doing what I well know to be the one unpardonable sin of confusing for a single moment the two great commonwealths that occupy the northern continent of America. Uh, but uh, I, think, I think it is uh, true to say that the ideal uh, of a press man, that the strenuous virtue required of a journalist, is somewhat similar in Canada and in the United States. A press man means a very different sort of person from me. <laughs> One glance at me would show that I had never crashed through a skylight in order to interview a celebrity. <laughs> that I had not slid through a door that was almost shut in my face <laughs> by somebody who wanted to keep me out of his bedroom. That uh, I had never performed any of those things that are the glory of journalism in the great world beyond the sea. <laughs> Therefore, uh, I was, as I say, in despair, and I had to pretend to be a literary man uh, for the rest of that occasion, and I grieve that it is necessary to continue that pretense, uh, uh, even for this brief luncheon hour. Uh, and uh, one of the first necessities of the pretense, of course, is to talk about things you do not understand. Mm one of which is Canada. <laughs>